Our program is called Sonoria de Nuevo Smile Again, and it is a global program focused on infrastructure, equipment, capacity, and advocacy using the diagonal approach for sustainability and innovation. We did the case competition last year and we thought it was an amazing hands-on opportunity for us to really learn about global health companies and organizations and kind of have this fast-paced intensity to be able to perhaps identify new strengths or areas of opportunity. One of the greatest things has been um, our team has had an amazing friendship. My name is Branton Washington. Christina. Julian Cernuda. Toronto Morgan. Ashley Milhouse. And I'm pursuing my Master's in Public Administration. Bachelor's in Human Biology and also my master's in public health in global health leadership. Master's in public administration. Master's in public health with a specialty of global health leadership. Master's in public health with an emphasis in global health leadership. One reaction I have is first excitement and then more just getting involved um, on a global scale and continuing to do service. We all have different ideas. It's great to have a fantastic idea, but at the end of the day, you have to make it translatable to people on the ground. It's really exciting to work with people from other fields. So she's super creative. She's super realistic. <laughs> I want to become a doctor, and then we have the policy guy, so it was like a nice combination. It's really important to convey a very complicated idea or a project in a way that brings people on board. What's so exciting about this competition is that it brings people from all different disciplines together, and it makes us think about things that I wouldn't think of on my own. All the faculty prepare us very well for this. You feel like it trained us how to be culturally competent and just conduct work on a global scale. It gave me an opportunity to look at how local governments are done elsewhere. I didn't plan on getting that from the competition, uh, but it happened. I've always been a person who doesn't really enjoy learning inside the classroom and learning from a textbook. A lot of times in, in classes and lectures, we're really focused on learning material, but we don't necessarily have the ability to apply it in a very real, real world sense, and this allows us to do that.